Activity Bot 364 Paralox in. Yes. Oh, yes. So, yeah, you're supposed to build the robot. Can't even wait when I'm going to start building it. Hi guys, as the ro as robotics come more and more popular, there are a lot of robotics and programming sets on the market. So today, I'm going to show you one very cool set that allows you to build and program robots. You will see how, e how it is different from others and, and how easy it is to learn from using it. So let's go! So now let's see what, would it, be, what it would be better to start with here. So first of all, this is the Activity Bot 360 robot kit, and now uh, we're gonna read the instructions. And by the way, this has a lot of fragile components, so be careful with them; they they could break. Let's put all the components back and just start with the instructions. Instructions and let's start reading. Oh, this is the instruction for the ping. The ping is an additional component for the set. So let's start here. Here's the link uh, get, uh, to get started. So let's, so let's get started. Let's turn on the computer and get in the website. So here we're in the website of Learn Parallax of Parallax. By the way, I got this book from the library just a couple of days ago. Uh, it's about DIY projects with microcontrollers. Maybe it's gonna help us. So let's assemble it. So let's get the wheels ready. So we get on this rubber thing, this rubber band on the wheel. Like this. Now it's ready. And here's the other wheel. So we're ready with the wheels. Now let's go to the next step. part we're finished building it putting putting the activity board on the wheels so now so the instructions were really uh were really detailed and easy uh really detailed and easy to understand so now let's go to the electrical part oh and of course for the electrical part we need batteries so you need let's see so you need five batteries. Huh. I think we're almost done with the electricity part. Let's see if we did everything right. Okay, we're ready. So software and programming check now. This is why I like the robots and getting to program them. First, first because you got to build them by yourself and make all and make these robots. And set and two that you can like program them basically to have their own mind and do and and do what they and do what you program them to do so let's get to the next step which is programming our robot so in order to go on further with the programming you have to install blocky prop client 
which I just did. It's a very easy process, but but now I'm on to programming. So so I'm gonna watch a tutorial on how to program with Blocky Prop with Blocky Prop, and we'll see how how easy it is or how much time it takes. <laughs> My dog's laying here and and chewing on his bone. <laughs> wow, that was so simple. I just filled out a few fields and now I can start programming. Yes, that's fantastic. I have my first working program. Honestly, it was very easy because of the very good tutorial here. So here's what I did. I got the robot assembled. Then I installed the blocky prop client. Then I, I got to the programming page and it successfully could read the program I did and it, and it can do it now. Oh, so if you actually want to see your program, not in blocks, but in the actual uh, C programming language, you can do it easily. So let's move on and make something harder. So here I just made another program to make this P26 LED LED light blink. See? And and again it was simple enough if since if you follow if you follow all their if you follow their tutorial it, it's very simple, not 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 hard or anything. So everything works fine right now. There aren't any errors, no bugs. I have gotten errors when I clicked the download button, but that was just cuz I cuz I didn't turn on the cuz I didn't turn on the board, the activity board or maybe I or I didn't uh uh do it on do it on com 3. <laughs> So just right now I added the piezo here and I connected a wire from here to P4. So right now I made this program for the activity bot to beep 10 times. So let's try. First let's check it. Succeeded. Okay. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10. It should stop right now. Right. It stopped at. It stopped 10. It, so. So yeah. It worked. It right. It worked right because it it beeped and it beeped 10 times like we said. So now we checked a different option. That sound. So far everything's working great. I love this activity bot and programming with it. It's so fun. So in this program, I made the robot uh turn it turn in different ways like rotation turns, pivot turns, arc, same direct and same direction uh, wide arcs. And it and it's going to also make sound. So let's go see how the program's going to work. So let's turn it on and see what it can do. So that's the first turn. Here's a different one. Now there's going to be a new one. And another one. If you saw my programming for kids intro video, you might have saw that I had this robot set in my hand. I said that I will, I, prom I promise you that I will make a review of it. But unfortunately, this was the in, the software installation was very hard and and it was very buggy and very hard. It it didn't have it didn't have enough tutorials also, and so I I couldn't uh, solve how to build it or so I couldn't solve how to get on the software and make the robot work. So if I compared these two sets. There are no doubts. Parallax would be better than Fisher Technic.
and not always when you look at the box or words that says high that say high quality that that doesn't always mean that it's true so my choice would be this one parallax now i want to make a short comparison with parallax activity bot 360 and cosmo both of them allow you to write your program usually using visual blocks both of them give you the program environment but I would say Cosmo is more like a toy. You can play games with it. Cosmo always needs your attention, like feeding him, playing him, so he's more, playing with him, so he's more like a toy. So comparing Cosmo and Parallax, um, Parallax is more complex, and you build it from the beginning to the end, like adding the wheels, the controller, the activity board. First question, do, do they both help you learn ro robotics? Parallax, yes, it definitely does because it, it, it comes just in pieces and you have to assemble it. So, so it, it does teach you a lot of robotics. But Cosmo, you don't have to assemble it. You don't have to put parts to it. It just comes with the finished product. Question number two, do they both, do they help you learn programming? I say yes for both of them. And last question, how easy are they to, to, start, pro, to start working with them? Cosmo, yes, it surely is easy because it's all ready. And you just have to download the app on the App Store on, and install it on your tablet. But Parallax is great too despite of having to build it and and it since it comes in oh just nothing just in uh, a bunch of parts it's still cool though if you because the tutorials there are great they are clear from because like for me as a seven-year-old kid the tutorials were very clear for me i could do it easily so i've just started learning with parallax and I've done my first few simple programs like turning and blinking lights. But I have way more programs to learn and research. And I haven't even installed the ping yet and some other parts to the, to the Parallax robot. So I have way more to go. But I hope it's going to be fun. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel and smash that like button if you like this video. So... So you get so you get to see much more videos with parallax